Turbine housing ARs. Some manufacturers use A, others use AR. How do you calculate that? Let's find out. Today, you're gonna to learn something. Hi guys, another video for you. Uh, there was a subscriber that uh, had a couple of comments last time regarding or a discussion regarding A and A over R and the fact that Mitsubishi do not use A over R and uh, we spoke a little bit about how the area of let's say a centimeter squared uh, volute is calculated and I mentioned that it's exactly the same procedure and process to calculate the area all that you do is you do not divide it by the radius. So even though you have an area of a turbine housing, and the key is where in degrees of that turbine housing you measure the area, which basically gives you the figure that companies like Mitsubishi will actually reference in their catalogs, etc., is measured. And what I basically said was you will still use the same identical process, which I will demonstrate to you here today, in order to measure the area. The only difference is you do not divide it by the radius. So without further ado, let's go into a drawing program and I will draw up a basic shape and that will probably just a thumb suck relate to a volute type shape. I will extrude 90 degrees of it open up the front face and I will measure the area and show you how quick and easy it actually is. I'm gonna just create our little drawing which we're going to extrude and once we've extruded this we will basically have a shape that resembles some form of volute of a turbine housing. It's just I'm drawing a very basic shape over here that probably will never work as a as an actual volute I'm just trying to make it nice and neat anyway be that as it may so let's go in and extrude that and just get this facing us and this is basically how you measure the area the area of this specific shape without any dimensions obviously i haven't gone and given it dimensions but whatever these dimensions might be equals to 2566.72 millimeters squared so you can work that out into centimeters squared by dividing by 100 and uh, you'll probably have a 256.67 centimeter squared shape that is how you calculate area on a specific housing the only difference is you do not divide that now by the radius so you have the area of the housing now the trick on this is to figure out and what i'm going to do quickly is i'm going to just make this round so that it resembles a circle and i just pretend that this is a turbine housing for the sake of it depending on where you draw your line your intersecting line whether it's at that angle there or if it's at that angle there or if it's at this angle there or if it's at that angle there and you basically intersect or uh, uh, um, intercept the specific housing cut it open face it towards you something like this um, you know you'd obviously just change whatever angle you want and then once you've done that you can basically face the thing towards you and you can go and create you can go and uh, um, you can go and create the or check what the actual evaluation in terms of the sectional properties would be obviously this is not going to allow you because we've, we've cut something open um, but the point is when you measure area on any volute in a turbine housing the manufacturers have got a specific point a specific angle and that's usually zero degrees now zero degrees does not necessarily mean at the entry point of the housing it doesn't necessarily mean at the tongue of the housing it could be somewhere else and that depends from manufacturer to manufacturer and 
I've confirmed this with a number of the manufacturers via email as well. I'm not going to mention them because some of the information they've shared with me is actually confidential. So what I basically want to do is just get the point across. Depending on where you intersect this housing, reveal the shape of the volute, the manner in which you measure area is done like I've just shown you. So if we go back in here and we make this 90 degrees again, face that to us. And now we want to measure this specific area inside of this highlighted area. Okay. The area of that is calculated and given to you. It's that simple. There's no more to it. Right guys, so that's as simple as it is. It's not difficult. You know, we design our own turbine housings. We know pretty much everything there is to know about how to make a turbine housing from design phase to machining, CNC machining the molds, which we do in-house ourselves, uh, to machining the final product from a raw casting. So, you know, from a design point of view, we need to be able to give our customers some form of idea of what the AR of the turbine housing is. And we need to know that ourselves too, because when we conduct tests, which are gonna be coming up in, in future videos, we need to verify what the back pressures are and what size turbines we can run inside of these housings in order to be able to determine whether or not there's restrictions, if there's going to be thermal buildup um, and various other things, uh, which are going to lead to either a reliable or unreliable rotating assembly when used with one of our housings based on its AR. So one of the key features, one of the key uh, facts about or design features about any turbine housing is its AR. So, I mean, we know exactly how to do this. And there's a, there's a, a, um, a subscriber, I'm not going to mention his name, but, uh, you know, it got a little bit heated and uh, he was quite opinionated. But we thought, let's just make a video for those that want to know. Um, that's how you measure the area. Area is only one half of or one part of AR. And that is what Mitsubishi sometimes in Borg Warner use. Now, I'd suggest you go to Borg Warner's website as an example and uh, download their catalog. Now, inside the catalog, you'll find the EFR series, you'll find the Airwork series, and right at the bottom, you'll find bolt-on turbochargers for the OEM passenger vehicles, including the 997 Porsche. You will find KO3s, KO4s. Have a look at the spec sheet. You will see the area, not the AR, you'll see the area of one of the KO3s that is actually four centimeters squared. That's the exact reference I used when speaking to one of the technical guys at Borg Warner with regards to the calculation methodology that they use to calculate that specific housing. And they told me that at a specific angle, which, I won't, which I'm not allowed to mention, they will calculate the area inside of the volute at that point in order to give you the value that they've displayed on their spec sheet for that specific turbocharger. Hope that's been informative. I hope that's helped you guys. Uh, post some comments down below, like, subscribe, catch you next time.